generation Washingtonian. He is a man who has made already in his young life lasting contributions to our cultural heritage and to humanity. Dave loves Washington, D.C., and we love him right back. He graduated from Duke in 1991 and never stopped coming back. From shouts out to D.C. public schools at this year's Emmy Awards, to supporting D.C. statehood, to attending the unveiling of an iconic mural on the Binge Chili Bowl. What we love most about Dave is that he is a fervent defender of disenfranchised communities around the world. He's a husband, a father, and he is committed to doing things his way, the Dave Chappelle way, the brash, clever, in-your-face way, and always speaking up for Washington, D.C. Chappelle has long advocated for D.C. public schools, and we were so proud that he helped D.C. public schools trend at the Emmy Awards all across the world. He told people what we already know. Our commitment to public education is unmatched and our children's talent is even greater. We say to the world that it's obviously D.C. public schools when we're talking about standing up and speaking up for success. Let me just say a bit about the honor I'm about to bestow. The key to the city is the highest honor an individual can receive from our nation's capital. And I am very stingy with them, I gotta tell you. <laughs> to keep the honor special, it is rarely given. It symbolizes the freedom of the recipient to enter and leave the city at will as a trusted friend to D.C. residents. And as mayor of Washington, D.C., it is my privilege to present a key to the city to a D.C. public schools alum, an Emmy Award winner, in recognition of his outstanding comedic craft, artistic merit, promotion of DC values, and overall perseverance. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Chappelle.
They knew that I was I was trying to make myself better. So when I look at you guys, you know, I, I really do see myself. And there was another thing they used to do in our first year where they would tell us, they'd say, look to the right of you and look to the left of you. And they would talk about all the people that wouldn't make it. <laughs> and not everybody did. But, but I want you guys to look to the right of you and I want you to look to the left. I want you to take a good look at each other. And I want you to know something that I learned by the time I'm 44. What I learned is that a lot of these people in this room will be your friends for the rest of your life. Amen. That when you see somebody from Allenton out there in the world, it means, it means a lot. And that high school seems like a long time, but it's only four years. And you only have to pay attention in your life two or three times. Just two or three times. I tell my kids this all the time. I got kids your age. I tell them, yo, you don't have to be awake all the time, but like three or four times in your life, just pay attention. And I tell my son, I say, look around this beautiful house. I said, everything in this house we're enjoying is based off of decisions I made when I was younger than you. Right now, you guys are making your future. And this is a very important time in your life. And you guys got to be kind to each other. You guys got to help each other get through this time. So you'll be successful. And success is not just money, or, you know, monetary success or, or, or stature, but success is your character. Like, you have an opportunity to make yourself into a very unique individual because you're a trained artist in whatever your discipline is. A lot of times, you know, high school is like, it's a mean social hierarchy for most people. And I hear people talk about the schools they went to and the football teams and all. We didn't have any of that stuff. But what we had was so much more unique and so much more different than any high school experience I've ever heard of. And when I walk in this building today, I mean, it's clear to me that you guys are, I hope you never take this for granted. Like $170 million is a lot of money. And that's what they spent on you guys, on your future. And, and the money symbolizes a very rare opportunity to cultivate talent that God gave you. And I hope that you take advantage of it. If you don't, you know. But if you do. <laughs> and I also want to tell you one last time. I never went to college. Then I did my entire professional career based off the education that I received here at Duke Ellington. And I must tell you that I was wildly prepared. That when we went to school from 8.30 to 5, I'm not gonna lie to you, I hated school. <laughs> I didn't understand, I didn't understand what was happening, but, but years later when I had my own television show and I was working 16 hour days, it felt easy to me. Because I, I had school days longer than that. And at least on a television show, I was the boss. Here, I just had to do what everybody told me. I used to mop this stage. Well, not this stage, the same stage. <laughs> I used to mop the stage that was here, and, and I used to watch the seniors dance and all that stuff. And it inspired me. I made the way do better. And we all pushed each other in a real friendly and loving way. And, and even today, friends of mine from Ellen tonight. And I also want to take a, a quick moment to just remind you guys that being a school teacher is a thankless job. You know, kids are, kids are you know, they, they just take things for granted when they're there. When I got older and I realized how hard the, the, the teacher at the school worked on our behalf to keep us safe and, and, and to teach us what they know, I hope that you just take a moment at, at, at some point in your life to thank them. Because we spend so many hours at this school, they're almost like surrogate parents to us. They're, and, and they're very influential people in my life. And I didn't realize that, of course, until years later. And when I see them, it makes me feel safe again and happy again and just remember so many good things that, that, that they all did for me. And, and, and that Peggy did for us. Uh, So I appreciate the gift that you gave me today. 
I brought a gift for you, a uh, little respect there. Uh, this is my <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 